Ambassador Lisa Johnson at the launch stated that Namibia, through the Ministry of Industrialization, has prioritized products such as meat, dates, specialty foods, leather handbags, handicrafts and accessories, and cosmetics, which will support the diversification of exports from Namibia to the United States. Ambassador Johnson adds that the embassy has also brought on board associations such as the Namibia Network in Cosmetics Industry, the Namibia Charcoal Association, the Namibia Manufacturers Association, and the Namibia Chamber of Commerce and Industry to assist export-ready firms. USAID is helping Namibian companies participate both in-person and virtual market linkage and business-to-business -business events, engaging with potential buyers, showcasing their products, and starting business discussions. These linkages have already led to export deals for Namibian firms. For example, in 2019, USAID supported Meatco in participating in the Summer Fancy Food Show in New York in the United States, where Meatco met Valley Foods, a U.S. buyer, and the rest is history. This led to the first export of Namibian beef to the United States in 2020. Minister of Industrialization and Trade Lucia Ipumbu noted that Namibia's total trade with the United States has shown a stagnant growth over the past 10 years, adding that in 2019, Namibia's overall exports to the United States market were valued at 1.97 billion Namibia dollars, accounting for only 2.9% of Namibian exports to the world. The main products as we related to earlier on are uranium for now, diamond and artwork. The strategy, however, identifies priority sectors and categories that we need to focus on going forward. As it was related by the ambassador, beef is one, fish is another one, semi-precious stone is another one, our grapes, our dates, the devil's claw, and all other products, and oil products in, in terms of uh, Semenya, Marura, and the rest that we are targeting to export in the near future. The Just Launch Strategy and Action Plan provides a prioritized roadmap on how Namibia can increase its exports, further recommending steps to address policy, supply and market challenges faced by potential Namibian exporters.